As soon as Neuralink successfully implanted the N1 chip into the human brain a few days ago, sayings like Welcome to 2024 Terminator Beginning were commented on a lot of Musk's posts with the same topic. We're witnessing the most rapid and modern development of the BCI field from Elon Musk. But is it really as scary as people often imagine when the first surgery has more changes than expected? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell. Now, let's get started with today's content. Although the specific identity of the patient undergoing the N1 chip implantation was not publicly disclosed, Musk immediately alleviated curiosity about questions like, is he or she still alive after the surgery? What's the survival rate post-implantation? The briefest answer, recovering well, is what Musk shared on X. How Neuralink could break through with its first implant. No longer just detailed research projects, Neuralink has officially joined the ranks of pioneering companies in brain-computer interface research through the first human head implantation surgery. In the first non-disclosed invasion case by Musk, 90% of the initial patients received the exclusive N1 implant chip with an incredibly small diameter and size of 23 by 8 millimeters. This N1 chip comprises of 1,024 electrodes distributed across 64 threads, each thread much finer than a human hair. Unlike other invasive chips like the Utah Array, the N1 chip causes less pain and has a significantly lower rate of body rejection. Besides, using the safest and most modern implant chip technology in the field of BCI, this first patient also went through the entire process of the study called PRIME through two state-of-the-art linking tools of this Neuralink chip, including the implantable robot R1 and the user application N1. Although the implant procedure can't be leaked due to technological security factors, we will describe the most authentic experience this first patient experienced. We will not discuss the preparation and prior examination process because, as you know, it involves selecting a patient who already has a complicated set of standard conditions. Initially, the patient's skull is drilled to create a small circular opening that's aligned in size with the N1 chip. This step will be performed by an experienced specialist doctor. Subsequently, the computer takes over the task of connecting with the surgical robot R1 to determine the placement of the electrodes. And this robot will implant the electrodes at the designated position with a depth of just a few millimeters below the soft tissue. Finally, the N1 chip will be placed near the surface of the skull, close to the top of the head, and then stitched back. After a successful implantation surgery, the patient stays in a coma for at least three days, then they wake up. The N1 chip is then activated. Through the chip in the brain, it wirelessly transmits and records brain signals via a Bluetooth system connected to the N1 user app, where the signals are analyzed and converted into commands for a computer or phone. The computer then encrypts these commands into actions. The entire process can easily be understood in this way. We cannot ascertain the specific extent of the patient's disability or neurological issues, but considering their approach to Neuralink, it is possible that they may be paralyzed and unable to perform activities independently, or even more severely, may have lost the ability to communicate. To obtain human testing approval, the United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA, gave the green light to Neuralink for its first human trials in September 2023. After a prolonged period of non-approval due to some controversies and reliability concerns that the company had not been able to address. However, ultimately, Musk demonstrated safety both on paper and in reality following the surgery. As Musk stated, the patient has shown significant recovery, and he also added that initial results show promising neuron spike detection. Neuron spike is a term commonly used to describe the short and intense electrical activity of a nerve cell. More precisely, the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke describes neurons as using electrical and chemical signals to transmit information within the brain and to the body. According to Queensland Brain Institute, mutations occur when nerve cells communicate with each other through electrical and chemical signals, enabling us to move, think, form memories, and more. Musk mentioned on Tuesday in another post that the results of the implantation have brought Neuralink closer to the launch of its first product called the telepathy. You may be aware that telepathy is commonly used to describe the recognition and understanding of the world around us through sensory perception. It includes a person's ability to perceive and comprehend their environment using senses such as vision, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. So will Neuralink comprehensively replace lost functions? According to Elon Musk's latest updates on the most recent implantation case, 
The patient will be enabled control of your phone or computer and through them almost any device just by thinking. Initial users will be those who have lost the use of their limbs. Musk does not promise that telepathy will help patients fully restore all their functions, but according to him, it can create benefits that someone with disabilities desire. Not stopping there, we can clearly see signs of strong ambition for Neuralink as Musk continues to write that imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. That is the goal. How terrible could Neuralink be if hackers invade? Although offering substantial advantages for individuals suffering from neurological disorders like Parkinson's or severe injuries, what worries people the most is the potential vulnerability of Neuralink to malicious entities, which could result in a Terminator scenario. Professor Marcello Yenka from the Technological University of Munich, an expert in AI development and neurotechnology systems, acknowledges the foundation of these concerns regarding Neuralink. When questioned about the possible risks, he underscores the danger of hacking attacks on the brain-computer interface, but also points out that the current risk is relatively low due to the limited widespread adoption of the technology. We also share the same viewpoint because any computer system and chip can easily be vulnerable to hacking at any time, even with Elon Musk heavily emphasizing security measures for Neuralink. The majority's concern about this is entirely justified because, as you know, the consequences could be unimaginable. Currently, Neuralink is still limited in achievements and the number of patients using it, making the likelihood of intrusion impossible. However, it is evident that Musk needs to prepare safety protocols for users when they undergo implantation. Another perspective comes from Dr. Bradley Greger from Arizona State University, who also shares the view that Neuralink is a significant achievement. However, he suggests that this experiment needs careful observation after 6, 12, and 24 months. If the device continues to function well, its applications may extend beyond the medical field. We could potentially use it to store and access our memories as we desire, and the device may even serve as a defense against the threats of AI. What do you think about this risk of Neuralink? Drop a comment below. By 2024, Neuralink is not the only company researching brain chip interfaces, and most of the advancements in this emerging field are being made in academic environments. Brain-computer interface BCI technology has been under research and development by scientists for several decades since 1978, but recent waves of investment from venture capitalists have rapidly propelled the field forward in the past few years. In addition to Neuralink, the company BCI Synchron made significant strides ahead of Neuralink in clinical trials using their brain chip in July 2021. In a promotional video on their website, the company stated that their brain Bluetooth allowed two paralyzed individuals to send emails, text messages, shop, and do their banking independently. That's quite remarkable, considering that Musk has not achieved this milestone at the moment. However, the future holds uncertain possibilities in this rapidly evolving field. In general, Neuralink has the potential to bring about significant changes in the lives of individuals with severe disabilities due to damage to the nervous system. However, it is emphasized that Neuralink cannot read thoughts or emotions of users. It can only send and receive basic brain signals related to motor planning. Elon Musk has mentioned the possibility of downloading memories and providing surveillance, but neuroscientists still regard these capabilities as largely speculative from a scientific standpoint. The technology is primarily designed to support individuals with severe neurological impairments, such as those who are disabled due to serious traffic accidents. It is not intended for widespread use or for individuals with milder injuries. Therefore, the consideration of its use is always emphasized because for us, a successful surgery does not completely eliminate the risks of such an invasive procedure. We still need more time to observe the process of Elon Musk technology, as well as the condition of patients after several years of chip usage. At this point, the overall effectiveness will be extremely detailed. How do you feel about the future of Neuralink for eligible transplant patients, and what aspects do you hope this technology will develop and improve to convince the majority to criticize it less? We appreciate your contributions. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, Please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.